You won't believe these 10 secret phone call hacking tools I found on GitHub. We're about to dive into a world of tech that feels like it's straight out of a spy movie. We're talking about tools that can do some absolutely wild things with phone numbers and calls. The code for these tools is just sitting there, open for anyone to see, which is both terrifying and fascinating. It's a huge reminder of how important cybersecurity is in our daily lives, especially when it comes to our phones. If you want more crazy tech discoveries, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on a mission to explore the most insane tech on the planet. All right, are you ready? Let's get into the first tool. Kicking things off, we have Phone Infoga. With just a phone number, Phone Infoga scans public sources, APIs, and online profiles to build a digital footprint. It can identify the carrier, country, line type, and even social media accounts linked to the number. We tested it on a burner number, and within seconds it revealed the carrier, country, and potential online accounts. Security professionals use Phone Infoga to assess how much information can be gathered from a single number. The scary part? It's incredibly easy to use. Just a few commands and you're set. This tool shows how interconnected our data is and why you should be careful where you share your phone number. Every time you enter your number online, you're adding to a puzzle someone could solve. Phone Infoga is the foundation for deeper phone hacking. Information is power. It's a real eye-opener and sets the stage for what's possible with just a little code. Stay tuned because the tools only get crazier from here. Next up is the Collarid Spoofer, a tool that lets you change the number that appears on someone's caller ID. You could make it look like you're calling from anywhere, even the recipient's own number. It works by modifying the caller ID data before it reaches the recipient, exploiting weaknesses in phone networks and VoIP systems. We demonstrated this by spoofing a call to a friend, making it look like it came from someone else. Instant confusion. While it might seem like a prank, scammers use this to impersonate banks or government agencies and trick people. Caller ID can't always be trusted, and this tool proves it. Security researchers use spoofers to test vulnerabilities, but in the wrong hands, it's a weapon for social engineering. Always be skeptical of unexpected calls, no matter who they appear to be from. The existence of this tool is a reminder. What you see on your phone isn't always the truth. Next, we're building our own phone system. Meet Asterisk, the open source platform for building your own private phone system, your own mini phone company. With Asterisk, you control call routing, voicemail, and even custom call flows. Companies use it for call centers and VoIP, but hackers can use it to intercept, reroute, or record calls. We set up a basic Asterisk server that plays music instead of ringing just a taste of its power. Asterisk lets you simulate real-world phone networks, making it a favorite for security testing. It's not a simple tool. It requires technical know-how, but the control it offers is unmatched. Understanding Asterisk is like understanding how the engine of a car works. It's the backbone of many phone hacks. Security researchers use it to test vulnerabilities in a safe environment. In the wrong hands, it can be used for surveillance or manipulation. Mastering Asterisk is key to both defending and attacking phone systems. Now for the heavy hitters, SIPVicious, a suite for auditing and attacking SIPI-based VoIP systems. SIPVicious scans, networks for active SIPI devices, guesses extensions, and can brute force passwords to gain access. In a corporate setting, it could map out all phone extensions and attempt to break into them. If successful, Attackers could make calls, listen to voicemails, or eavesdrop on conversations. We ran SIP Vicious on a test network, and it instantly found all active extensions. Reconnaissance made easy. This is why VoIP security is critical. A single weak password can compromise an entire phone system. Security pros use SIP Vicious to find vulnerabilities before attackers do. It's a constant battle. Every new security measure is met with new tools to test it. SIP Vicious is a reminder. Anything connected to the internet is a potential target. Always secure your VoIP systems with strong passwords and proper configuration. The line between security and vulnerability is razor thin. Next, let's see how automation changes the game. Twilio isn't a hacking tool, but its API lets you automate calls and call forwarding with just a few lines of code. You can set up complex call flows, ring your cell, then your office, then a virtual assistant all automatically. It's great for privacy, like using a temporary number when selling online. 
but it can also be used to create untraceable communication channels. Attackers could use Twilio scripts to mask their real number, making calls hard to trace. We built a simple Python script that forwards calls from a Twilio number to my phone. Easy and powerful. Twilio is a legitimate platform, but its flexibility can be exploited. The intent of the developer is what matters. Automation makes call management and potential abuse easier than ever. Next, let's see how network control can disrupt calls entirely. Evil Limiter isn't a phone hacking tool, but it can wreak havoc on VoIP calls by throttling or cutting off devices on your network. It uses ARP spoofing to intercept and control traffic, letting you slow down or block any device's internet connection. Imagine being on a business call and suddenly your audio drops. Evil Limiter could be the culprit. We tested it by throttling a laptop's bandwidth. The video stream froze instantly. The same applies to VoIP calls. Latency and dropped packets mean failed conversations. In a corporate setting, a rogue user could disrupt communications without detection. Evil Limiter exposes a critical weakness. If your network isn't secure, your phone system isn't either. It's a local denial of service tool that highlights the importance of network security. Protect your network or your calls are at risk. Now let's look at another open source phone system. OpenPBX is another open source platform for building custom phone systems, similar to Asterisk, but with its own features and community. It lets you design intricate call flows, manage voicemails, and set up interactive menus, all through a user-friendly web interface. Security researchers use OpenPBX to test for vulnerabilities and experiment with call routing. But if an attacker gains access, they can hijack calls, set up secret extensions, or reroute lines for fraud. Keeping the software updated and using strong passwords is critical. OpenPBX shows there's more than one way to build and attack phone systems. The diversity of open source tools means defenders have more to learn, but so do attackers. Let's see how Python can automate these systems. Callapy is a Python library for automating and analyzing phone calls, often integrating with systems like Asterisk. You can write scripts to robocall, detect fax tones, or even build a war dialer to scan blocks of numbers. It's a tool for automating reconnaissance and interaction with phone networks. Security researchers use it to find misconfigured extensions or hidden entry points. Callapy makes telephony accessible to anyone who can code in Python. Automation lowers the barrier for both innovation and exploitation. Next, let's talk about recording calls automatically. Call recording bots are scripts that automatically record phone conversations, often using APIs like Twilio or Asterisk. They can act as silent participants in a call, recording everything without the other parties knowing. Companies use them for quality assurance, but attackers could use them to steal sensitive information. A compromised PBX could secretly record all calls, leading to massive privacy breaches. On a personal level, spyware could record and upload your calls without your knowledge. If a call can be routed through a computer, it can almost certainly be recorded. Always be mindful of what you say on the phone, especially on lines you don't control. Now, let's see how attackers can jump between networks. AVOIP. Hopper tests if it's possible to jump from a data VLAN to a voice VLAN in corporate networks. It mimics IP phones to trick network switches into granting access to the voice VLAN. Once inside, attackers can scan for phones, capture call traffic, and eavesdrop on conversations. This tool is used by penetration testers to find misconfigurations in network segmentation. A successful hop means the network's security is broken. VOIP Hopper shows how interconnected systems can be exploited through a single weak link. Security is about how all the pieces fit together. One misconfigured switch can compromise everything. That's 10 of the most insane phone hacking tools on GitHub. We've seen everything from information gathering to building private phone networks and bypassing security. Remember, these tools are for education. Use them to defend, not attack. Stay skeptical, use strong passwords, and be careful what you share online. Knowledge is your best defense in the digital age. Subscribe for more tech secrets, and let us know which tool shocked you most.